new plugs nice new shiny plugs they're in there and we've also rubbed the rads down so I'm waiting for some more paint to turn up and then we'll give those a bit of a mask up and a colour in I went through my whole box of paperwork the other day trying to find out what colour red Romeo Echo is I'm sure I'd seen something and in the log book here I found this Peugeot cherry red so uh, I thought I'm onto something it's great to see these old uh, entries from right back here we go construction from a kit street shadow started Feb 1990 completed August 1990 wow really <laughs> six months that's amazing. It took me longer than that to change the engine and do a rewire. Factory inspection and flight test by DC Cook of CFM. Six months. Fair. I've got to get this tank off then. So um, I messaged David the other day and uh, he kindly messaged me back and confirmed that yes, Peugeot Cherry Red is the colour. I've contacted the local. Uh, paint suppliers in Bromsgrove uh, nice chap there uh, explain what I was up to he said to me if I bring this tank up which is the same color as the fuselage uh, he will uh, have a look at Peugeot cherry red just double check that uh, the shade that he's got matches this and then give me all the bits of kit that I need so um, one of the things I want to do is rub these tanks down so main and slipper because there's a few scars and marks on there it'd be nice to get these all back up to their original state as you can see it doesn't help people taking tanks in and out and rubbing them rubbing them up and against the edges there so we're getting them back David suggested just a bit of a light sanding with some 400 grit wet and dry got a bit of a long standing love hate relationship with uh, paint spraying, spent my youth doing up old minis, one in particular I rubbed it down, I sprayed it in primer, I rubbed it down, I did that for years to the point where in the end I gave up and somebody uh, local did the final colour on it but never never used two pack so that would be, be something new so the great thing about all this is you can have a real good look around check everything like you never do with uh, the engine in place have a look at some stuff I haven't seen since I last had it all apart chance to clean it all up and there you go is a good example it's been a bit of fretting on that pipe there that I hadn't spotted seems like I'm having a spot of rain so this is the tank Structurally all uh, all good. Just um, this will benefit from a bit of a touch up. So a bit of light sanding, I think. And let's see if my uh, painting skills are up to a scratch. Maybe even a slight bit of filling. There's a bit of a ridge in there. I don't know what was rubbing on that. And the question is, do I disturb the drains, the Curtis drain and the fuel drain, or just do I just mass them up? Because once you disturb stuff like this, I think I'm going to mask it up. I had a drive up to Jowl Paints yesterday in Bromsgrove, and I picked up this little lot. What do we got? We've got some uh, free etch primer and some activator for it we got some uh, 2k base coat thinners some 2k uh, fast hardener uh, so there's a litre and a half there and we've got a couple of litres of um, the red which you colour match to my fuel tank and uh, there's half a litre there of pure white for doing my stripe 
down the side and up and over the hoop. Got some tack rags. Uh, we got some Selly thinners. Uh, five litres there. Bit intimidated by the way it says for professional use only. Do me best. Hmm. So I've got ten sheets of 400 and ten and five sheets of 800. So I'll use this for getting the paint off and that for smoothing things out. I've also got some uh, masking tape, fresh roll of that and uh, some stopper just to fill any small imperfections and stuff. So I'm going to start with the main tank just to get me eye in and um, if I make a complete hash of it I may have a second thought about starting on the fuselage but start small, see how we get on, build up. So first up for the treatment is uh, the main tank. Thought I'd just weigh it before we did any tinkering with it. So we've got 1.768 kilos. That's with the sender unit in and all of it. Just uh, remove from the plane with no fuel in. The sender unit. And again, let's have a little look in the hole. Mast up. Fill a mast up. Send the hole mast up. Okay, so I found my old sanding block. That's rubbed many a mini down over the years. And let's see what we're going to do with this. Start on this side and see how it starts to come off. Right, that's every side flattened rack with 400. I've used one sheet to do it all. I'm gonna take it indoors now so it can warm up because we can only get the workshop up to 15 at the moment. I haven't got the fire on, just the halogens, and it's uh, a one degree outside, so I want the tank to warm up. I can then just apply stopper to um, any little uh, dents or chips or whatever that I can't flat, because I'm not going to take it right down to the uh, to the material underneath. And then, uh, so there's a, an example, just want a little bit of stopper in there and there where that paint's chipped off and stuff. Um, so I'll apply that and then tomorrow that will have dried off nicely. I'll flat it back, flat the stopper back with 400, then I'll go around the whole thing again with 600. And then I think we can put some etch primer on it. So I need to uh, speak to my neighbor and say, can I borrow your air fed mask? Right, we're fully rigged, or as rigged as we can be. Tanks hung up, all flatted back. Uh, we've got 20 degrees on the thermometer, we've got lights coming out of our ears, so uh, let's see how it goes. So this is the paint I'm putting on first, this is some etch primer, uh, that'll be the uh, compressor. Apparently horrible stuff to get on your lungs, so I borrowed this uh, air mask, air fed mask off the neighbour and some goggles and stuff. So. See how we get on with that. So there uh, are my efforts tonight. It's had about four coats, but I don't think they're very thick coats. Doesn't seem to cover, see the dark marks? Still showing through there. So it's nice to work with. It's evil stuff, I suppose. You've got to wear your mask and everything. But uh, with the lights on it and uh, with it 26 in here, it doesn't seem to run too readily, which is good. 
So um, I think what I'm going to have to do is just lightly flat it back to key it in again. Just the very top surface. And then I'll just give it another coat as thick as I can just to bring that gloss up and colour in these dark spots a little bit. So it will just be an effort. I've got some tiny little pin pricks in here too. And I think that's where my shoulder knocked it. So it'll give me an opportunity to flat those things out. There's a tiny imperfection on this side too. And uh, have a little bit more practice. I've had some stuff turn up today in the post. I've got it in this box. There's all sorts of stuff in here. We've got some uh, paint for the reds. There's a couple of uh, things that are marked thermocouple. Ooh, and what's this underneath here in the bottom? There's some, some rings there for uh, things that don't need safety clips. We'll have a look at them. Something really exciting in the bottom. Let's find out on the next episode.